Hey, what's up? It's Bo from One Million Cubs Project. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to ship safely in a plain white envelope. Um, you may have seen the initials PWE um, on Twitter, Facebook, eBay, any other sales site for trading cards or anything you can ship in a plain white envelope. So basically, this is a plain white envelope and they are shipped with uh, forever stamps now 55 cents so a lot of people dislike pwe shipping especially for uh for trading cards but the thing is you can ship safely using a plain white envelope i'm going to show you how to do it however i will preface this by saying it's not good to ship pwe higher end items typically my cutoff is about ten dollars for a card um, at $10, it just kind of depends on what exactly the card I'm shipping is going to be. If it's, uh, you know, a newer Chrome autograph, I will, you know, I'll ship it through paypal.com slash ship now. Um, but typically seven, $8 is kind of the range where, um, I'll ship PWE on my eBay sales. And, and also, if you are on eBay shipping PWE, make sure you either select economy shipping. Um, that way people know that, hey, this is probably going to come in a, in a white envelope or flat out say it in the item description that this does ship in a plain white envelope. So you can ship it safely. I do hundreds of transactions per month shipping in plain white envelopes. Many of those, most of those actually on eBay. So um, every once in a while, you will receive a notification that an item has not been received. Um, sometimes that's a, a way for people to get a free card. Um, other times the post office does lose mail. Um, I have not had any issues really um, as far as damaged cards or uh, chewed up envelopes. I've actually had more instances of damaged bubble mailers through the USPS that I have actual plain white envelopes. So there's a, a lot of negative connotation when it comes to shipping in a plain white envelope. And uh, I will dissuade you if you believe so. Um, but it's not for everybody. Um, the thing is I, I ship low dollar cards. This is a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 2019 Bowman Chrome prospect card, BCP one. Now it's a, a $2 card basically. So you're not going to make any sales on eBay selling it for a dollar or $2 and then charging $3 for shipping. Now with zone shipping, um, it could be over $3 just for postage. And remember, eBay does take 10% of your, your shipping costs um, for sellers. So what I do is I priced this on eBay just last night at $2 and 50 cents free shipping economy shipped in a plain white envelope. So it did sell last night. So I'm shipping it out today. It's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So I have my trusty, uh, obviously it's in a penny sleeve. I have my trusty top loader. Um, I buy these in bulk. Um, I've got some blog posts that uh, um, give you details on how to buy top loaders and everything else in bulk. I also do some marketing for One Million Cubs Project. Nick Vosbrink made these beautiful cards for me. My wife, Amy, made the uh, logo that you see here up in the upper right corner. It's in the 89 Tops design because that was the first set that I really collected as a kid. Also, you'll need, anytime you ship um, anything, do not use scotch tape. Do not use this. Um, you can use it on the outside of a bubble mailer if you're sticking a... Um, a mailing label. Um, that's about all I use it for. But this, this is your uh, hobby, hobby supply uh, savior. So it's blue painters tape. You can find it in the uh, home home goods section. So typically, what I do is on a card like this, I'll just place it right over the top. That way, the card doesn't slide. Some people will ship all cards in a team bag, which I have a couple up here stuck. So these are our old team bags that uh, I've repurposed. So I use those on future sales. So I've got the blue painter's tape. I've got my business card that I keep. And then I reuse boxes. These are priority uh, flat rate boxes that uh, have been 
Um, at one time, there were Cubs cards in here, so I repurposed the boxes as well. I have a stamp, my wife's idea, excellent marketer. So I stamp the cardboard. It says, help me collect 1 million Cubs, Chicago Cubs baseball cards, my website, and my Twitter site. So I stamp that on there, and then I'll sandwich that. Some people also use uh, rigid holders instead of top loaders. Um, sometimes top loaders can get stuck. I haven't had any issues, though. So then I'll just tape the blue painter's tape, one on each side, and you have a nice little secured card. And what I'll do then, some people use thank you notes or greeting cards. I just use a regular piece of copy paper, also bought in bulk. I buy this at uh, Costco. Slip that in there, just like you're mailing a letter, tri-folded, and stick it into the plain white envelope. Also, buy in bulk at Costco. You get your forever stamps. Unfortunately, you, actually, you can buy these in bulk at Costco, but you only save a quarter on 100. So place that there. Also, what I do to save time, I do a lot of transactions. I'm shipping 40 items out today. I have the mailing labels. I print those out on my home computer here. And there you go. And I'll write the to address there. And that is how you ship safely in a plain white envelope. PWE.